Princess Kate and Prince William's Adelaide Cottage Home looks so different in super rare photo. The Prince and Princess of Wales live a life away from pomp, ceremony, and public attention as they raise their children Prince George, 11, Princess Charlotte, 9, and Prince Louis at Adelaide Cottage. Though many associate the royal family with properties like Buckingham Palace, William, and Kate, both 42, reside in Adelaide Cottage on the estate of Windsor Home Park. The royal family of five rarely share insights into their home life, however, an unearthed photo predating the Wales's residence offers a new perspective on their idyllic leafy home. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The photo, shared by the Royal Collection from 18 and 92 thirds, shows an exterior view of the beautiful home in black and white. The home is surrounded by a lush lawn with large trees and a lovely bench to sit and enjoy the natural surroundings. The home features many windows across the front with several sets of double doors in the house. The eagle-eyed royal followers may notice that the right corner of the home seems to be the spot where a family photo featuring Kate and her three children was taken which was shared to mark Mother's Day. The photo caught the attention of royal followers who believed the image had been photoshopped. The royal addressed the situation with a statement on Instagram, writing, Like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. See? The family's candy pink grade, two listed cottage features four bedrooms and, according to the Royal Collection, was originally built for Queen Adelaide using materials from the Royal Lodge, the current residence of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson. Prior to a renovation in 2015, the property featured a marble Greco-Egyptian fireplace and a ceiling covered with gilded dolphins, and a rope design from a 19th-century royal yacht. The princess is a lover of the outdoors so it is no wonder she feels at home in a cottage nestled in the heart of the 655-acre Windsor estate. Kensington Palace previously said of Kate, the princess has long been an advocate of the huge impact the outdoors can have on our well-being and the life skills it nurtures, such as confidence and resilience. Amid her preventative chemotherapy for cancer, Kate released a statement reflecting on the healing power of nature as the National History Museum opened new gardens. I know the power of nature to support our development and well-being, both by bringing us joy and helping to keep us physically, mentally and spiritually healthy, the mother of three penned. I am hugely supportive of the museum's commitment to create a special space which encourages people of all ages to reconnect with nature and learn more about how we can protect our natural world. Kate and her children are also able to get outdoors when they head to their country retreat, and Mahal on the Sandringham estate in Norfolk. The residence, which was a wedding gift from Queen Elizabeth II, features ten bedrooms, an outdoor swimming pool, and a tennis court. Prince William and Kate's love story has been told over and over again. The pair met at St Andrews University and became good friends and housemates before their friendship blossomed into something more but did you know that the pair's paths likely crossed before attending university. In a Right Royal Podcasts season finale, which is all about the Princess of Wales, hosts Emmy Griffiths and Emily Nash sat down with royal biographer Robert Jobson, who spoke about how the couple met. He explained, we all go on about how they met at university, but actually they were aware of each other before they went to university. The way the kids from Marlborough and Eton were, girls and boys would mingle and meet. So they had known each other before. Basically, their paths have crossed. That's probably why they were able to develop a friendship quicker. There are other things, William is a little bit younger than her. Thinking about the breakups, they were understandable, they were at uni. The fact that they survived this long in a university relationship just shows that they were very much in love. But that ten-year courtship was very important in preparing her for what she had to do going forward. 